to the Talahina, Talamina Scenic Drive, but we're gonna get some coffee for the trip. And we just left the yarn store in Mina and we uh, completed our mapping for Onyx through the Washita National Forest. And we ended that at Wolf Pen Gap or ATV Park. Well, hello and welcome to our channel. This is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. If you've been following along with this adventure, you know that there are several other videos about this route that starts on the west boundary of the Washita National Forest. Now, if you really wanted to, and if you have the Onyx app, the Onyx Off-Road app, uh, there are trails that you'll see on the map that start south of Gillum Lake. So if you wanted a really long adventure, you could start this adventure south of Gillum Lake, head up to the Costa Todd area, and Onyx is working on getting my trails for the Costa Todd up. So hopefully those will be listed soon if there's no problems and you know everything works out with that they'll have those trails too. So you could follow along the cost tot and then head into the Washita National Forest on along the west boundary. Work your way all the way up to the west boundary like we did uh, to Wolf Pen Gap and then you go into Mina like we did and grab you a cup of coffee. There's a couple other things to do there too. You can check out the railway station and the city park and grab a bite to eat before heading on up into the Talamina Scenic Drive. Now this is a pretty long drive into the Talamina uh, Scenic Drive area, but it is very enjoyable and uh, we did see wildlife while we were going down the road, so keep your eyes open for that. And uh, I actually have a uh, section of video slowed down where there, a deer pretty much jumped out across the street in front of us. But uh, this could be a very enjoyable drive and you could make this a very long weekend drive or even longer if you wanted. There's plenty to do along this route. And at the very end of the Talamina Scenic Drive, uh, after we got to the top of the last lookout area, we stopped recording dash cam footage and went on down, uh, decided to, to head home. But I found a trail that we decided to go down and I didn't know a lot about the trail when we hit it. And we were getting later evening, but we hit that trail. We do have that video already up on the channel. Uh, it's actually the first one I, I loaded up about this route, but it turned out to be a very rough route a very rough trail but it's something that was very enjoyable and uh, would be a good addition to this route so I hope you all enjoyed all these videos and enjoy this video and uh, you could break this up as much as you needed for a day trip or if you wanted to combine it all for a, a, a long trip that could be possible too and like I said most of this is on the onyx uh, off-road app of course Talamina Drive is not going to be on the, the app as a trail guide upload but you will see the roads on the app too so I hope y'all enjoy and uh, be sure to comment in the comment section let us know how you enjoyed the trip
tire to top of Talamina Scenic Drive. Nice little walking area so you can stretch your legs while you're taking the tour. picnic tables, barbecue grills, of course the fire tire. It's like the signs have seen better days. Used to be a geocache hid up here too. Now to continue on with the rest of our journey. Yeah, they got a hole in the ground toilet up here. Yeah, pretty. Yeah, I'm glad we'll have a restroom though. Come all the way up that mountain. Oh wait, I, I can't use it. Is this no Ashley's allowed? No Ashley's allowed. Well, I guess you can't use this one. So, Anybody that's named Ashley that comes up here, you can't use that restroom. You're gonna have to go find another one. We just thought we'd share. <laughs>
All right, we're still making our loop on Talamina Scenic Drive. And we're at the Arkansas, Oklahoma state line. We are continuing on around the loop. Having a lot of fun, y'all.
Thank you.